carbon community is running one of the world's very first field trials of a way to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere called enhanced weathering. And this relies on the reaction of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere with silicate minerals, including basalt, which I have here. So what we need to do to make sure that this works is to actually verify that the basalt is reacting with carbon dioxide, breaking down and releasing the weathering products that are ultimately stored for a long time in the ocean. So our lab is developing multiple ways of measuring the same information so we can be absolutely sure how much of the basalt that we're applying to the new growing forest at Glandier is actually capturing carbon dioxide. So one way to do it is to cut a block of soil out of the ground and to extract all of the moisture that's uh, retained in this soil and look for the weathering products in that moisture because most of them, of course, will be dissolved into the soil solution. Another way, which we've shown you before, is to use an instrument called a lysimeter. And this is basically a very large ceramic hollow tube that goes into the soil and pulls in moisture um, from the soil solution. And so we have some of that here. And we can analyze this in the lab to see how weathering products accumulate in it. And the final thing that we're doing is making something that's called a litter bag. And so this is a very, very fine mesh. It looks solid, but there's actually little tiny holes. And we will be putting a known quantity of the basalt inside of this bag, sealing it up and burying it. And then at predefined intervals, we can come back and weigh this bag and see how much of that basalt is actually dissolving and weathering and capturing carbon dioxide. So we think this field trial is really special. It's not just because of the size and the replication, but also because of all the effort we're putting in to make really sure that we're measuring this carbon dioxide removal process as accurately as we can.